Hello. We now know what a derivative is and how to calculate it using the first principle definition of the derivative. Therefore, in this second chapter, we are going to focus on learning new rules that will help us uh, determine the derivative of uh, polynomial functions in a much more efficient way. Let's look at the first set of rules for determining a uh, derivative for, uh, for a function. And the first function we're going to take is the constant function f of x equals c. Since this function is constant throughout its uh, domain, it never changes, so there is no such thing as rate of change. Therefore, the derivative of a constant function is going to be 0. The power rule states that for a function f of x, which is equal to x at power n, where n is a positive integer, the derivative is going to be n times x at power n minus 1. This is easy to verify using the first principle definition of the derivative. And this power rule is a very important one. You're going to use it all the time. Another rule is the constant multiple rule, which states that for a function f of x, which is uh, constant times a function g of x, the derivative is going to be that constant multiplied by the derivative of g of x. In other words, c the constant is a factor and does not influence the derivative. Now, a very common used uh, rule is going to be this sum rule, which states that for a function h of x, which is um, a sum of two differ differentiable functions f of x and g of x, the derivative is the sum of the uh, derivatives of those uh, functions. And uh, the same way goes for a difference. Therefore, the difference rule states that for a function h of x, um, which is um, a difference of uh, two differentiable functions f of x and g of x, the derivative is going to be the difference of those uh, of the derivatives of those two functions. So it's the same like the sum, only that we have for a difference instead of a sum. You notice that we use two notations, Lagrange notation and Leibniz notation. Lagrange notation is, uh, I've noticed that is more uh, preferred by students in high school, uh, given the fact that you don't have to write too much. It's just uh, that prime, which is a lot easier to use. The Leibniz notation is preferred by uh, mathematicians, uh, I would say. In uh, advanced uh, courses of calculus, you will encounter uh, probably the Leibniz notation much more than Lagrange notation. I'm going to conclude this lesson here. I hope to see you in the next lesson uh, shortly, where we continue with these rules.